soon as I came down the hill in Shagadapi and I, I saw the color of that hospital. There's pain and there's joy. That's where we spent nine months of our lives. And the Rempel family has seen the very best of what the Alberta Children's Hospital has to offer. The boys remember this as their home. Like this is the Lego hospital, this is their home. Jessica and Dennis have three young boys, all of whom were diagnosed with an extremely rare immune deficiency syndrome where toxins build up and contribute to a deterioration of the brain. You got stinky toes? He has stinky toes, so they smell like roses. In this case, for huh? three children in the same family to have it is even more rare. Like there is an urgency with regards to um, what we are going to allow in terms of damage to the brain if we don't do the procedure fast enough. Known medically as PNP, severe combined immune deficiency, the disease requires a bone marrow transplant, a procedure that once took children to the brink of death. I remember when they uh, described the procedure to me, I honestly don't think I was, could even hear. I just, I was kind of like a ringing in my ear and I just, I didn't even know what they had just said to me. There was just no way we would ever conceive of transplanting three siblings one after the other, considering how sick we would have made them seven to 10 years ago. But the bone marrow transplant procedure has changed drastically in very recent years because of direct funding from the Alberta Children's Hospital Foundation, money made available because of public donations. They still don't know what the outcome is going to be, but it is absolutely uh, a 180 degree difference compared with what we used to do. When it comes down to it, we're talking my family, my kids' lives. Um, and to think that um, this hospital gave us a second chance at that. Without this hospital, we wouldn't have our boys. You don't know if you would get this far. We didn't know if we would get here. And to see that we have gotten here, we celebrate it. The support that the hospital and the foundations have given us to be able to implement this procedure in this hospital allowed this uh, success to sort of uh, become available to us. Okay. You look good. All done. Jordan Witzel, okay. Global News.